Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to add Monterey Rain Meter to your Windows 10 system. Rain Meter is a powerful desktop customization tool that allows you to enhance the look and feel of your computer by adding various widgets and skins. If you're a fan of the macOS Monterey look, this guide is perfect for you. First, let's start by installing Rain Meter if you haven't already. You can download the latest version of RainMeter from their official website at rainmeter.net. Simply click on the Download button, and once the setup file is downloaded, open it to begin the installation process. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. Next, we need to download the Monterey skin. One of the best places to find Rain Meter skins is Visual Skins. Open your web browser and go to visu visualskins.com. In the search bar, type Monterey and look for a Rain Meter skin that matches the macOS Monterey style. Or scroll down, we'll find it. Once you find a suitable skin, click on it to open the download page. Click the download button and wait for the file to be saved to your computer. Most Rain Meter skins come in a .rm skin format, which makes installation easy. In the next step, we'll install and apply it to your desktop. Open file after downloaded, click install and the skin will be added to your Rain Meter manager. To add widgets, go to the widgets section and turn on the ones you need, such as clock, calendar, System monitoring, notes, volume control, timer. You can also switch between light and dark themes by clicking on appearance, then selecting either light or dark mode. If you want to remove a widget, simply right-click on it and select Remove Widget. This allows you to fully customize your desktop to match the macOS Monterey aesthetic while keeping your most used tools easily accessible. And that's it! You've successfully added the Monterey Rain Meter skin to your Windows 10 desktop. Now you can enjoy a sleek macOS-inspired interface. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more tech-related content. Also, feel free to drop any questions in the comments below, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.